Hello, I'm Debbie Pace, CEO of Debbie Pace Global, host of the Show Up Show podcast, and author of The Journal to Freedom. I'm here today to talk to you about five steps that everyone can take to become free from the fear of failure. So let's get started. Number one, train yourself to see success even if it looks like failure. Let's say, for example, you have a business and you'd really like to have a six-figure program launch, but let's say you only make $10,000 or $40,000 or maybe even $80,000, something that, when you look at the main goal, would be considered a failure. Well, instead of going down the rabbit hole of negative emotion, instead, you can train yourself to see success in any number during the launch. And then you'll be able to recognize that making five figures is actually still quite an accomplishment. Plus, it's perpetual. The more success you look for, the more success shows up. Number two, rewrite your story around failure. Many times people feel an intense fear of failure, but never dig into what that fear is actually coming from. So it continues to have a silent power over them. One of the most effective tools that I use with clients is a process that digs into where that fear actually began. It exposes the truth behind it and rewrites it into a more empowering story. So for example, if your fear is based from a childhood traumatic experience, say, you would go back to that experience, take a much deeper look at what really happened in that moment and why, and then you would rewrite it into a much more positive and empowering story that would remove any blame or shame from the event altogether. Number three, don't take anything personally. We hear this all the time, but what does that really mean around the fear of failure? Well, if we go back to the business launch scenario above where you're looking to make a six figure launch, but maybe it falls short or maybe you don't sell anything for this one program, it doesn't have anything to do with, with your value. Someone choosing to purchase your program or not actually has no bearing on your value as a person at all. It really could just be a matter of maybe your message needs tweaked or maybe they just aren't in a place or a position to actually purchase what you're offering right now. So it could be any number of reasons and most of which have absolutely nothing to do with you. So number four, build your resilience muscle. A valuable growth lesson in life is learning that you can fall down, you can get scraped, but you can get back up and still create a life that really has all of your desires, that really looks the way that you want it to look. Just like a child falls down, let's say they're riding a bike and they fall off and scrape their knees, but they get back up on the bike again. Well, we as adults often need to understand and remind ourselves of that same lesson that we can actually fall down, feel the pain, but then we can get back up and have a really great ride even at the end. Number five, create a really strong support or accountability network. What this means is, I really see this a lot in people who have difficulty, and maybe this is you, but if you have difficulty following through on commitments to yourself, the most important piece of, of all of these five steps is getting that accountability and support. Get a coach or ask a friend who can hold you accountable for showing up or create some method of support and accountability that will actually help you stay on track with your goals. So if you have someone who's helping you with accountability or showing up, ask them to remind you often of your why, what your purpose is, what made you create the goal in the first place, and that will help prevent the tendency to give into fear. So that's it. Those are my five steps today that everyone can take to become free from the fear of failure. Thanks for watching.